Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share a very important word by Julie Wedby from Behold I Come. This word was posted originally on April 14th of 2018, and the title is My Laws Were Meant to Free You. I created you, mankind, in my image, my very breath breathed into you, so that you would be extensions of me in this place. I did not create you to be here for you, so that you could have your own will and desires to satisfy you, but rather you were created to be my reflections here, so that light and love could be experienced by everyone. This life I have given you is about our journey together. As you learn my truths and come to know me more and more intimately, the more you seek me, I want to have a relationship with you and I want you to understand how much each one of you are loved. You are each created with a very important purpose and in your journey with me, I will reveal to you individually why you are here and how you can fulfill the purposes you were created for. Because I love you so much, I have provided instructions for you in my word so that you will have a guide to follow as the words that are written there reveal very clearly who I am, my heart, and how you who choose me and recognize me as your Savior should conduct yourselves. The commandments I have given you should not be viewed as a set of rules to check off, as my purpose and motive in providing these instructions are to be a model for you in how to walk worthy of what I have called each of you to do, a life of holiness, purity, and righteousness, walking in my example. Please do not look at my commandments as a list of do's and don'ts, but rather as my way of warning you ahead of time of the things all around you in this life that can and do cause you to stumble. Sin is separating yourselves away from me. By doing things your way and believing you have the correct answers for you and being wise in your own eyes, just as I share so often, when I teach, everything you do is a matter of your heart. Look at it this way. In learning my commandments, as you set out to do something that I have warned you not to do, ask yourselves, what is my heart motive for doing this? I want this to be very simple for you to understand. Everything you do and everything you speak comes from your heart. You are either for me or against me. When you know what is holy in my eyes and you know what the truth is, you are accountable for the choices you make. My commandments to you are my ways of making very clear the things in your life that will separate you from me and hinder you in the process of getting close with me. When you have these instructions that have come directly from me but make the choices to not heed them anyway, then you are exercising your own free will and therefore, you are the ones distancing yourselves from me. I will always be here for you. It is you who pull away from me. This world constantly throws 
temptations and seductions in your face, because I am not the ruler of this world. I have given dominion to Satan for a time. However, because you were made in my image, when you walk with me in obedience to what I am teaching you in my word, you walk in the same power and authority that I had. When I came to this earth, so, in following my commandments, you become one with me, as it was always intended for my creation to do. In walking in obedience frees you from guilt, condemnation, and bondage, rather than putting you under these things, which is all this world offers you. My commandments should be viewed as my opportunity for you to be truly free in this life and experience the incredible plans I have created you for while you are here. They are meant to encourage you, build you up in me, and strengthen you. As you go about your lives here, giving you a means to escape the limitations this fallen realm puts on you. Pray for understanding in what I have told you here. Yahushua, your Father, the Creator of all things. And that is the end of this message. I just thought this was a very important message to reshare with all of you, especially with the times that we are in with the grace versus law or commandments. I pray all who listen to this message will take it directly to the Lord and ask him for the understanding of what is being shared here. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.